Wow, wow, wow. Shocking news. Massive shocking news if this holds to be true. Yeah, boxing. he's not handling boxing like a business. Right. He's handling like um like it was a, a governing body, something no, like that? No, it's like this is his playpen. Hey, let's put these there. Hey, I come on, you want to play? Hey, come on, let's put them there. Hey, yeah, they, they don't want to fight each other. Hey, you guys want to fight? It's me. Yeah, let's fight together, you know? He's making the fighting fun. Mike Tyson responds to a $700 million rematch offer by Turkey Alalshik, chairman of Saudi Arabia's General Entertainment Authority. A key figure in Vision 2030 reforms, Alalshik has revitalized entertainment and sports, attracted global events, and bolstered tourism. His leadership reflects Saudi Arabia's modernization ambitions and global engagement in arts and leisure sectors. But boxing seems to be number one. Because I'm fans of boxing. This is why? Yeah. The boxing, and I have, I, I talk now with, in the same time, I study it. Mm. I have people to study it, what I talk about. In the 70s and the beginning of the 80s, the sport number one in the world was boxing. Yeah. Now, I am very sad that the last result I have before we go inside the debut. FTTV Boxing reported that Turkey Alalshik offered Mike Tyson $700 million to fight Jake Paul and win by three-minute KO in a rematch, stating, Jake Paul is a joke. I am giving Mike Tyson $700 million if he agrees to fight Jake Paul this time in a real fight and wins by KO in a maximum of three minutes. Turkey Alalshik is known for his deep passion for sports, particularly boxing. As a dedicated fan, he has prioritized boxing promotions, investing heavily in marquee events and global partnerships. <sighs> Mike Tyson offered 700 million for Jake Paul rematch. Says Saudi Arabia's Turkey Al Sheik has given Mike Tyson the opportunity of a lifetime to accept a rematch with Jake Paul and potentially earn a staggering 700 million dollars. It must be nice to have money to just throw away like that, you know? Now, three weeks after their lackluster affair, Mike Tyson has been handed an offer that would be incredibly difficult to refuse. Turkey Alashik, best known for his complete transformation of the sport of boxing, I thank you for that, Turkey Alashik, is ready to put up a large sum to witness a Paul vs. Tyson rematch. Willing to be the driving force in making the fight happen, Alashik has provided a huge stipulation if he can get the agreement on both sides. And that is, if Mike Tyson can win by knockout within the first three minutes, he will be rewarded 700 million. That's highly unlikely. His enthusiasm has helped bring major fights to Saudi Arabia, boosting the sport's regional popularity and aligning with Vision 2030's goal to position the kingdom as a global sports hub. This personal connection to boxing underscores his commitment to fostering world-class opportunities for athletes and fans alike. I said before, and I, this is my opinion, I don't start to talking about these things. He start and he said he respect me and and, but he doesn't like what we are doing in boxing. That's why I, uh, I said what I said. And I mean it. If he wise, wise in guy, he will understand the message. If he wise, him. if the ego take him. And we will go more and more, inshallah. What more can you go? This is already so much. This is, this is, <laughs> this is what we are doing, me and, you, uh, and the team with the support of the Crown Prince, God bless him. Yeah. We don't stop. I tell yesterday for my team, I see the calendar from the 4th of June until now, I doesn't rest any day, even in the, uh, in the, in the weekend. Mm -hmm. I work al around 16 hours. The primary reason for this offer stems from Turkey's belief that the previous fight between the two was fixed. Alal Sheikh is adamant about arranging a fair fight where Mike Tyson would have a genuine chance to demonstrate his legendary boxing prowess. As you see here, Prince Turkey Al Sheikh is offering a massive $700 million to former lineal undisputed heavyweight world champion retired iconic hall of fame superstar bossa iron mike tyson to rematch youtube sensation turned professional boxer jake paul and he's offering 700 million dollars to have mike tyson knock out jake paul right because he believes that this fight 
was fixed. It was staged. And so he don't believe that this was a real fight. So he wants to see the real Mike Tyson stand up and the real Mike Tyson put on a show and knock out Jake Paul. So according to, as you see there, Dr. Boyce Watkins, right? He says, Saudi billionaire Turkey al Sheikh has presented a 700 million offer if Mike Tyson agrees to compete uh, against Jake Paul and triumph with it with a three minute knockout in their uh, rematch. The proposed rematch isn't just about money. It's about setting the record straight. Turkey Alal Sheikh wants Mike Tyson to fight Jake Paul for real, with the condition that Tyson knocks Jake out within three minutes. Turkey believes this would vindicate Tyson's legacy and erase doubts cast by the controversial previous match. Right, so it would be like a one minute, uh, uh, a one round, three minute situation where Mike Tyson is actually serious, right? Because there's been viral pictures and viral videos and uh, viral clips where people are saying Mike Tyson held back on some of his punches purposely um, because he it was staged and he wasn't uh, supposed to knock Jake Paul out. And so people are running with this, right? And uh, His Excellency, Prince Turkey al Sheik, this holds to be true. He is 1000% a fan of the sport of boxing, okay? Now he's an investor in the sport of boxing, but he's 1000% a fan of the sport of boxing. And so he wants to see the best versus the best. And he wants to see real boxing. And he's a fan of Mike Tyson. And he respects Mike Tyson's. The first held boxing event on Netflix, the promotion, the production was top notch. And it did 60 million homes with a gate of $20 million. So no doubt, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It was definitely successful. And again, some people thought that Mike Tyson simply purposely was not trying to hurt Jake Paul. Well, this $700 million will instantly make him a billionaire. Oh, this will entice him to hurt Jake Paul, especially with these rules set in, for, set in place for him to have to knock out Jake Paul within a certain time frame. Oh, you best believe this changes everything for Mike Tyson. He will be super aggressive, right? Turkey Alal Sheikh is one of Mike Tyson's biggest fans and holds great respect for the former heavyweight champion. His motivation for the rematch stems from a personal desire to see Tyson triumph. Turkey refuses to accept the legitimacy of the previous fight's outcome and is determined to help Tyson redeem his legacy through this generous offer. People still say the Mike Tyson one was rigged. It drives me crazy. I'm like, bro, they were trying to knock mm. each other out in there. And I'm sure Ward's like, nah, shit was you, fake. Do you think after the first time that Jake clipped Mike Tyson, you saw the first time he hurt Mike Tyson, you could see it kind of staggered him behind the ear there. Yeah. Do you think he really said, like, I'm going to put the pedal on this guy after that? I mean, from my, I don't know. I, well, from where I was sitting, it looked like it. Do I you mean, think he's, but, he really but also, like, if he if he sits there and tries to put the pedal to the metal and sit in the pocket and trade with him, I give Mike a chance too. Mike didn't have a chance but after I, the first twenty seconds of that fight. Mike didn't have a chance. Yeah, later later in the fight, I'm thinking end of the fight. I feel like Jake just would have had enough respect for him. He's like, I don't want to knock this so old fart out. So that would be kind of fixed in that sense, where he didn't have that kill instinct the entire fight. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, fuck. It's just hard to say. I mean, we've watched enough fights to know sitting there ringside. We've watched enough fights to know whether these guys are sitting down on their punches or not. But and in those first couple rounds, my, he was Jake throwing a few different times. He said in the post-fight press conference that he literally had enough respect for Mike, or he didn't yeah. want to hurt him after that first shot. Going into a fight with the intentions to knock someone out, and then later towards the fight realizing, okay, I don't want to hurt but, this but guy. He different than going the in there, round. I'm not going to knock this dude out, no matter what. I'm not going to knock mm -hmm. this dude out. He hurt him in the first round, and then he didn't want to hurt him after that. I mean, it's pretty clear that that's helping Mike Tyson through the fight. I don't know. That's not a, a fight, a real fight. The belief that the Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson fight was rigged is widely shared among fans and experts. Analysts have closely examined Jake's moves during the match, which they claim looked staged. This perception has fueled Alal Sheikh's determination to organize a rematch to settle the score in a more authentic competition. And the reason I was so adamant that I wouldn't be talking about the fight while it was going on during stream is because it's just boring. It was extremely lackluster, and that was an extremely predictable thing to see from a mile away. Now, apparently the undercard fights that preceded the main event were extremely good, so hats off to all the fighters that really put their best foot forward and delivered an incredible performance in the middle of this fucking circus. 
I have said since the very day this was announced that it was a pathetic endeavor. I thought that this would only end in underwhelming, disappointing disaster. When Mike Tyson suffered a medical emergency and nearly died like four months before this fight even happened, which caused it to be pushed back in the first place, it is stupid. I thought it was a horrible concept for a fight. I didn't even watch it. I was streaming Dark Souls 3 through the whole thing and getting updates from chat about how horrible it was to watch, what a giant waste of time and scam it was, and... I still was provided with a real-time analysis round by round, and my god, even just reading the cliff notes was sad and lame. Like, it would have been more thrilling to be getting updates at bingo night hearing about the senior citizens' bingo cards. It was just sad. During the initial rounds of the fight, Mike Tyson appeared in good shape and displayed glimpses of his old self. However, as the match progressed, his performance dwindled. Tyson seemed to struggle with his age, and the fight turned into a spectacle of a younger opponent overpowering an aging legend, leaving fans disillusioned. Speaking of clowns, how about that Jake Paul, Mike Tyson fight? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the only, probably the only one of the only fights I ever like was excited to watch and yeah. then immediately was just like no yeah, yeah. dude the oh, second he like right back from the first round i'm like oh man mike but i was like it's mike tyson it's mike tyson's punch out like yeah, grow yeah. up with mike tyson like you know like all the 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 history and the legacy of this man by the first or second round i was like oh this is bad yeah. like this is like not cool for anybody and then i think jake paul realized that too i'm just like punching an old man right now. I was yeah. a six-year-old. Yeah, it was just yeah. like, I think everybody felt that cringe, like, yeah. oh, this is not what we wanted. What, <laughs> I was yeah. really hoping that last, like, 10 seconds, That's when it. he decided to be uh, like, to just bow to Mike, yeah. I was like, go, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Now it's my chance, here I go. Ah! Yeah. 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 I was like ready, I was like holding up so much hope to be like, he's gonna unleash the beast yeah. in like the last 10 yeah. seconds, yeah, he's just gonna kill this kid. Critics argue that Tyson's age, nearly 60 years old, was a major factor in his lackluster performance. Performance. However, fans who had seen Tyson's intense training sessions were baffled by the discrepancy. In training, Tyson appeared sharp and powerful, yet none of that vigor was evident in the fight itself, adding fuel to the allegations of the fight being rigged. Excuse my voice, but one of you recently asked me what are my thoughts on the Jake Paul vs. Mike Tyson fight. Do I think it was rigged or scripted? First of all, it was a 27-year-old versus someone who's pushing 60. So of course I was like, I don't see it. But then I looked at the training footage. The way Mike Tyson was training before this fight looked way different than the actual fight. He was sweating bullets, but still moving like crazy. Also, the leaked script for this fight that leaked months ago just resurfaced. And if you pause and read it and look at the fight, I'm telling you it's looking like it was scripted. Everyone thought Logan Paul was gonna be biting the curve, yet we got Mike Tyson biting his glove. For many fans, the Jake Paul fight is considered one of the saddest moments in Mike Tyson's storied career. Seeing a boxing legend fall to a YouTuber in such a manner was a shock to fans worldwide. The unexpected outcome tarnished Tyson's legacy in the eyes of many, and this is a key reason behind Turkey Alalshik's drive to arrange a rematch. Jake Paul just beat Mike Tyson. It's probably one of the saddest things I've ever seen, but um, it happened. Jake Paul wins, Mike Tyson loses. I guess we should have all expected this. I mean, he is 58 years old. Jake Paul is in his 20s. I just, the entire fight felt terrible for Jake Paul. And most of the fight, it kept just freezing. So, what do you guys think about this? Uh, Jake Paul wins. I mean, he got paid 20 million. Jake Paul got fo paid 40 million. I guess what people were expecting was Mike Tyson to be 30 years younger. That's not possible. It's just not. We all we all get older, but uh, Jake Paul wins. Mike Tyson lost. And all throughout the fight, you know, this is the news. YouTuber Boyce Watkins shared news of Turkey Alalshik's offer, highlighting the unprecedented $700 million deal for Tyson. Watkins explained that Alalshik wants Tyson to knock Jake Paul out in three minutes, proving that the fight would be genuine and free from any suspicions of rigging. He wants to see the rematch between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, and he's now offering Mike Tyson $700 million to knock out Jake Paul. <laughs> and it's all coming from uh, Boyce Watkins, uh, for those who don't know Boyce Watkins, he's like here on YouTube, he's 
in a totally different sector. I talk about him a lot. For those who don't know, I do have another YouTube channel. Um, and I, I talk more about like politics and social issues and stuff over there. And Boyce Watkins, he comes up uh, a lot in conversation. But Boyce Watkins, he put out the news. He said that His Excellency is offering Mike Tyson $700 million to knock out Jake Paul. And I think this is because like, like the controversial fight was broadcast as an exhibition event on Netflix, leading many to believe it was orchestrated purely for monetary gain. Critics argue that while the event generated significant revenue, it came at the cost of tarnishing Tyson's legacy, an outcome that deeply upset fans and supporters, including Turkey Alal Shit. What did you think? I don't even think it was a fight. It was an exhibition. It was an exhibition. Shout out to Jake Paul for what a brilliant business move. That was just brilliant. That was a brilliant money grab. I don't give a fuck what anybody said. The fact that he came out in that car with his brother, just real douchebaggy. He knows how to f promote. That, that's social media. He's a social media promotion genius, plain and simple. He, he, he's literally bringing WWE to boxing. That's how I feel. He really is. I'm not saying he's not a, a true boxer, but I'd like him to, to really box some real now that he's done this whole Tyson thing. He should start boxing real. And I think Javante Davis is like the tank's like, yo, I'll take you on, man. I'll beat the brakes off your ass. That's what he said. It. Jake Paul said, is there a height requirement here? Is there a, is there a height limit in boxing? And he said he'll take it on. Maybe this is Jake's move to fight real boxers. He's doing this to piss people off. Many fans directed their frustration at Jake Paul for challenging an aging legend like Mike Tyson, who has faced serious health issues in recent years. The fight was seen as unfair, given Tyson's advanced age and medical challenges, leaving fans questioning the motives behind organizing such a matchup. And they're like, how can you disrespect our heroes, man? I'll take you on. Who knows? But one thing I do know, all I saw was the business, the business, uh, the model. What a f brilliant promotion to fill that Dallas stadium, 72,000 plus. Are you f kidding me? Jerry Jones is like, well, hell, goddamn, oh, shit. Well, I want to appreciate you, Netflix. Whoa, that sh was brilliant. Had everybody out there, Charlize Theron, Shaq. Shaquille O'Neal, all the stars were out. It was brilliant. Everybody was watching. Despite the challenges he faced, Tyson managed to survive eight rounds against Jake Paul, a man 27 years his junior. This resilience earned Tyson respect from some quarters, but it also highlighted the physical toll the fight took on the aging legend, raising questions about the ethics of pitting him against a much younger opponent. First thing I see when I get on TikTok is like video after video after video of all of these people crying, feeling bad for Mike Tyson. He's an old man, this is elder abuse, like they're just one girl. Guys, Mike Tyson is fine. He went eight rounds with a 27 year old in 14 ounce gloves and he was still standing at the end. He earned his bag, now he's gonna go home and just hang out with his pigeons, which is what he wants to be doing. Now he can do it with the peace of mind that his bills are paid, that his kids are good, he is still in fact intact even though he didn't win. That is also in part due to Jake Paul who gave him the respect that he deserved. And this moment right here is going viral and Logan Paul's getting trashed for saying this, but, but Tyson's like, I'll fight Logan next. And Logan's like, oh my God, I will you. I know shit talking can be nuanced here, but that's exactly what this was. Tyson doesn't want him to bow down to him. He loved it. He loved it. So for everyone who's crying on the internet right now, that can't even take it. Mike Tyson got out there and did what he loves to do. Don't feel bad for him. He's more than great and he's $20 million richer, so he's fine. Mike Tyson's health was a significant factor in the disappointment surrounding the fight. Observers noted that Tyson's age and physical condition contributed to his performance, and these issues have been a focal point of criticism regarding the decision to arrange such a high-profile fight. So Mike Tyson just had a little uh, medical scare before his fight with uh, Jake Paul. Now, if you needed another reason why this fight shouldn't happen, Mike Tyson literally just got done having a 30-minute dizziness and nausea spell that has absolutely no reasoning for why it happened. I'm sorry, um, if you're having a 30-minute dizziness and nausea spell two months before having a boxing match, 
when you are considered an elderly man, you probably shouldn't be fighting this guy. You understand, we've basically gotten to this point that I don't know if I want this to be a completely fixed event or I want this to be a legit boxing match. Like, I'm sorry, if you think that Jake Paul beating Mike Tyson and the only way that that could happen is if Mike Tyson takes a dive, I don't know what to tell you. Mike Tyson is an elderly man. He's an elderly man. Jake Paul, I'm sorry, is objectively like a, a pretty good athlete. I'm not saying that Jake Paul in his prime versus Mike Tyson in his prime is competitive. That, then that's not what I'm arguing at all. I am arguing a dude who has damn near infinite resources, right? Infinite training time. Doesn't really have to do anything else. Commentator George Janko described the fight as awkward and uncomfortable to watch, noting that Tyson seemed slow and Jake appeared to pull his punches. Janko emphasized that while the fight may have been entertaining as a show, it was disheartening to see Tyson struggle against a much younger opponent. Bro, you, dude, it felt like your grandpa was in there. It was like, get him out! Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it was awkward to watch. It was, it was uncomfortable to watch. Yeah. But also, it's not, it's not Jake's fault. I know a lot of people are like, you should fight somebody. Like, bro, like he did it for like a legacy and a memory mm. and a cool event. Again, this is show business business right like it's a good show i just it just felt really uncomfortable to watch him be slow and dodge and like and then also watching your friend like pull his punches and in my heart i was like man i wonder what jake feels like i wonder what was going through his head during that mean, fight like, yeah. that's what i want to know yeah like dude what, what does it feel like going in there like oh i'm gonna kill this guy ultimately turkey alal sheik's offer represents more than just a financial deal it's a chance for redemption both for tyson and his disappointed fans a genuine rematch against jake paul would serve as a means to reclaim the honor and respect that the first fight seemed to undermine and then you're standing above him you're like oh i, I could feel what everybody's talking about here yeah. i gotta pull mm. back i can't mm. i watched it on the netflix live and like for you know i'm almost you know like so you well didn't fly to another state you know you just no. from your living room yeah, yeah. it passed i nice. watched it. it was very nice and um, <laughs> um and you know i'm obviously not well versed in fighting yeah. but from what i saw was i will say like when jake walked out and then mike tyson walked out i was actually physically nauseous for jake because mike tyson's punches are so strong that i thought oh one punch like he's done you know that's it for today's video stay tuned until next time